Greetings, Daniel Preseto for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended, and today we're going to look at the lesser known features that were added to the Creative Cloud 13.1 Photoshop update. Let's go ahead and take a look at the preferences, Command or Control K, and go to the 3D tab. The first you're going to notice is under Interactive Rendering, Shadow Quality, there's a setting for very low to very high, and you can adjust this per your video card's performance. If you're not getting good performance in the interactive OpenGL view, the interactive mode where you're moving the object around, you can set it to very low. If you're not having any problems, you can go ahead and keep it at very high. Um, the second thing here is under the ray tracer, under render tile size, there are settings for small, medium, you know, large, extra large, and huge. So this is the size of the tile that the ray tracer will be rendering on the screen. You can increase the tile size or you can reduce it and depending on how you want it to, to view the scene. We default this setting based on how many cores are on your machine. You may override this setting in the preferences. And the side effect of setting something like huge is without enough cores, you're going to get less on-screen updates. So you may not see the ray trace. Um, it may not look like it's working, but it is working behind the scenes. It's just not providing the instant updates on the screen. And what this looks like, um, small, let's go ahead and set it to small. I'll go ahead here. And you'll see like this little tile just start shooting across the screen. And there it goes. And that's the small setting. So it's one tile. And it's, you know, it's it's interactively updating the screen as it goes across and across the tiles there. Now let's go ahead and go back to the preferences. Preferences 3D. And I'm going to set this to huge. And if you have enough cores, and as you can see, it's marching ants around the entire canvas here. And there may be less on-screen updates using this view, um, depending on the number of cores, or it may be still pretty interactive for some of you with the very powerful machines and multitude of cores. So at least you have the options so it's not scrubbing across your screen anymore. and You can actually see your document, and uh, that is a really good thing. Now, the other thing that we fixed recently was uh, when you had a selection and you started ray tracing it, and there it's refining, refining, and then you paused it for some reason, it would start over. So now you can resume render, and that resume render will take off where it left off. That was kind of a really annoying bug, and uh, we fixed that for sure. The other things are, you know, 32-bit color pickers. I, I covered that in another video, and the ray trace is far more accurate. Let me go ahead and turn this on. The time remaining is way more accurate. We really fixed that, and I think we got it down uh, really well this time. So it's it's pretty great that it's actually working properly, it seems, or at least it's very accurate. Should I get my coffee? Go ahead and get your coffee. The other thing here, the one of the last things, is under the 3D menu, Sketch with Current Brush is now always available, and you can use it anytime you want. I'm going to go ahead and plug it away. I have no idea what's going to happen, and it's really dark. So it's one fun thing to, to experiment with, and I probably should do a video on that. And if you want to, you can request, and then I'll go ahead and make a video of it. In any case, those are the quick updates. A little Running a little long here. If you have any questions, as always, comment, and any feedback is great. Thanks.